Good morning, YouTube family. So today I'm vlogging again, and I, it's gonna be kind of a boring day because I didn't keep the car today. So me and the boys are just at home. Bryson's acting crazy, and Ethan decided to pee in the bed all morning. So I'm about to put his clothes in the washer right now. Okay, I'm gonna get these boys some dang waffles before Bryson drives me crazy because I hate his cry. Today they will be having a cinnamon toast, a cinnamon roll. Y'all, yeah, Bryson is so dang picky. All right. I'm about to brush my teeth and then I'll come back to show you guys my current skincare routine. Okay, so the, so the first thing I go in with is my Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel by Neutrogena. And this one is my favorite of all time. Like, I feel like even if I stopped using this and I started breaking out, and then like as soon as I started using it again, like the breakouts kind of stopped. The next face wash that I go in with is the Savina Avena Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub with moisture rich soy extract. Gently removes impurities for softer, brighter, more even toned skin. And this is just what this looks like. And I really am liking it. And I don't know, I've been doing a lot of stuff to brighten my skin. So I don't know if this is working or if it's the vitamin C or a different oil that I'm using that you guys will see. I like to really focus this on my pores, but where I have larger pores, and on the sides of my nose where makeup kicks up. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with is this Garnier Skin Active Skin Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist, and I have the rose one. I hear the the cucumber one isn't that good, but I love the rose one. And I just use this as my toner. And what I've been taking is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue for normal to dry skin. Since in the summer, you do get a little more sweat. I do get a little more sweaty, a little more oily. So I didn't want the one for dry skin during the summer. And it's been working out pretty good. I haven't seen a change. I know whenever I first switched to it, I was getting like dry patches, but I was like, let me just push through and see if that changes. And sure enough, it changed. Then for all over my face, I go on with this Vital Vital C Vitamin C Skin Care Skin Antioxidant Brightening Face Serum. And I just take that one all over my face. And I always push my hands up instead of dragging my face down. And the same thing with my neck. And then I'll go on with the Vital C Vitamin C Super Antioxidant Eye Lift Serum. And I put that underneath my eyes. And I found these Vital C things at TJ Maxx. And the rest you can the rest that I've used so far you can find at Walmart. Just rub that in nice and gentle under my eyes. Now the last thing I take for all over my face is this Jamaican Mango and Lime Jamaican Black Castor Oil with vitamins A, D, and E. And this moisturizes, moisturizes and softens dry skins, enhances skin radiance and luminosity, smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and that's what that looks like. And we found this one at Walmart also, and I believe we've also gotten it from Sally's Beauty. 
I try not to take too much and that's what that looks like. It's just really orange. The other two oils were really like just pretty much clear. And I like to try to take this on my eyelids and eyelashes because of my eczema and to help condition and grow my eyelashes. This one is a little more thick, like it's a really thick oil, so you do kind of have to be gentle putting it on. But I take, I do all these same steps at nighttime except for going with this. I don't use this at nighttime, but I do use all the other stuff at nighttime, and I'll be a little bit more generous with this at nighttime. And then for my lips, I use this day and night, but this is the Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask. And this was a 100 point perk at Sephora. And so I use this one time in the morning and then before bed. So that is it for my skincare. And then I will see you guys in a little bit. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get some pizza rolls going for mine and the boys lunch. And then while the oven's preheating and those are cooking, I'm gonna be packing up a lot of the kitchen. So yeah, you guys can join me within packing up the kitchen. I know it seems like it, I haven't done a lot of like packing and stuff but really what you guys don't see is like whenever I'm not vlogging like our entire house is pretty much already packed so there's all of these boxes in here I'm gonna put all my makeup back up today and then I'm gonna put that table where it needs to go so that we can get it out of here and then I packed up all the closets in the house, except for like clothes, obviously. And then there's all these boxes in here. And like all of the boys' toys are packed, all of them. And then there's these empty boxes right here that I can still fill up. I'm debating on living out of boxes for the last week, like with the bathroom stuff. Like, let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. Obviously laundry day is tomorrow. I need bigger boxes, that way I can stick all the brand shoes into a box. Maybe we can try to go find some. And then I already packed like 90% of my shoes. So like, I, like that's all I have. Two sandals, two flats for church, and then three tinny shoes and a more casual pair. And then, yeah. And then like, Ethan all up in his booty. Okay, and so like all of these cabinets are empty. So that's what you guys haven't seen. Cause there was stuff in every single cabinet. And then this is all that I have left. I've packed all of our spices and everything. And nothing up there except for that was here whenever we moved in. So we're leaving it here. And then everything is condensed. Like all food is condensed into there and the pantry. But now that I cleaned the pantry out more, I can probably move it all into this cabinet. And then all of our dishes, like all of them are in here. And then... 
the majority of our medicines are packed up except for like allergy medicine in case one of them has a fever and then multivitamins and then all of our utensils are in one drawer as well okay and then so this is all that's left in the pantry those chips up there i believe are actually bad and then the mess you see me cleaning up was another baby food actually fell and busted so i'm gonna ask brian if he thinks that we should just actually i'm gonna go ahead and do it and i'm gonna move all of this stuff into that cabinet where we had the other food So that wasn't too bad. Now all we have left in here is water and potatoes. So, oh. I need to see if this is, this is the open one. So I'm going to throw it away because Brian didn't refrigerate it after he opened it. And so, this is how the pantry looks now. Potatoes and water. And then everything else, like I said, is empty. Even all of these down. Oh, mail. I still have that out. <laughs> and then empty cleaning supplies are still in there for whenever we clean this house. And then empty. So yeah, you guys, everything is empty. All the decorations are down. They've been down. So yeah, time to eat. Bison, come on. Oh, yeah? No. Oh, thank you, sir.
so now we are going to head to the circuits and the cardio room to finish up leg day. So, cue time lapse. We're gonna do those three machines and then the leg press and three sets of each and each and this one's actually two depending on which way you turn these little leg things so i'll see you guys once we are finito okay so we just left the gym today was leg day we're gonna head to my mom's now to eat some the malas and rice and beans and the weather actually looks pretty nasty outside. It's been supposed to, it was supposed to have started raining at like eight this morning. Really it started at 4 a.m. and then it moved to eight and then it just pushed all the way back. But yeah, it's finally coming down. And I will see you guys later.